back of the naturopath. Let's talk about molecular distillation and about cleaning up fish oil. So today, good quality fish oils, I'd say most but not all of them, uh, go through a process called molecular distillation. Yeah. Sounds complicated, but we'll explain it. It's quite a simple process. Well, simple to explain, but complicated and time consuming to do. When I was younger, there was no such thing as molecular distillation. So what you got basically was they got fish, they got the meat off the fish and what was rest was squeezed and they would separate the oil and the water. They would filter that oil and then, hello, here's your fish oil. And it was gross. It was really gross. It stunk. Like it was pretty, pretty putrid. But that's what I got when I was younger. The smelly stuff. Well, it's not like that today, is it? So let's talk about what it is, the process. When it comes to molecular distillation, the raw fish oil is placed under enormous vacuum pressure. When you increase the vacuum of a liquid, you can almost boil the liquid. So you need to be very careful. As you can imagine, this process is very complicated, but performed with very good precision these days. So what happens when this vacuum, with this vacuum is that the oil begins to separate at different stages of the process based on the molecular weights of the, the oils. Yeah. The first oil extracted under the molecular distillation is EPA and then DHA becomes liberated. What is now left behind are essentially toxins like mercury, PCBs, dioxins and chemicals. Their boiling points um, of the toxins are different from the fish oil, so they're left behind at the end and don't end up in your capsule. Every single drop goes through this extensive process. Nothing is left behind but omega-3. So this is a really good way to get ultra clean, ultra pure product is through this distillation process with zero contaminants. So few contaminants remain in the molecularly distilled oil in fact that it is extremely difficult to measure the level with ultra modern laboratory techniques like gas, like gas chromatography or HPLC methods. So even with good scientific methods, it's very difficult to pick toxins. I can assure you now, the fish oil capsule that you're gonna swallow will have a lot less problems than you talking on your cell phone for five minutes. I see more damage done to cells that than swallowing a capsule. And I still don't believe all this tech is safe or healthy for us. I still believe that we're going to get into trouble, you know, in years to come. I'm not a conspiracy person, but I still don't think it's the healthiest way to live. So, can you now see why omega-3 fish oils that have been molecularly distilled are even safe for pregnant women and babies? You can actually give a pregnant woman this product without, you know, fear either. You can't say that about eating a piece of tuna anymore, though, can you? No? So to summarize, I would say that the process of molecular distillation is completed to achieve three objectives. The first objective is to concentrate the EPA and DHA essential fatty acids. The second one, most important one, is to purify and cleanse the oil from all contamination, you know, with heavy metals, PCBs, dioxins, basically junk like that. And the third one is to remove odors, is to deodorize. So, the way to remove fishy odors is through the distillation process. So we've got a higher quality product, we've got a cleaner product, and we've got a less smelling product. And that's molecular distillation. Thanks for tuning in.